Some of the work that I've been involved in with regards to healthy food accessibility and the local food movement um, include working on um, the uh, outpost store located at the Innovations and Wellness Commons uh, at 17th and North Avenue. And this is a project of the Walnut Way Conservation Corps. And um, Outpost and Walnut Way have been in a partnership now for close to 10 years. And um, what has resulted as a, uh, from that partnership has been this beautiful um, Outpost um, pop-up grocery store, really, um, located at the Innovation and Wellness Commons. And it's a collaboration uh, that really has um, sparked um, a lot of uh, movement with an outpost. Um, one of our goals as a business um, for the year 2022, we do a lot of forward visioning. And one of our goals is to um, increase um, lively neighborhood markets. And uh, we feel it's also important to make sure that everybody has access to um, healthy and local foods and organic foods. Uh, regardless of where you live. And so um, the store at Innovation and Wellness Commons um, is really um, a wonderful um, experiment to find out um, where we can put additional grocery stores other than uh, where you might consider you know, a large format grocery store. So the phase one project of Innovation and Wellness Commons, we have this pop-up grocery store. It's pretty tiny. It's a, we refer to it as our little tiny outpost. Um, it's a little under 700 square feet, uh, and we do have just about every department featured uh, in this tiny grocery store that you would find at a regular outpost. Um, and what we're really doing here is um, gauging the interest of the community, finding out what people want from their co-op, from, from their neighborhood co-op actually, um, and, um, and, and really um, you know, listening to the needs of the community. Um, and hopefully, if everything goes well in phase two of the Wellness Commons project, uh, which would be a new construction, would include a larger format grocery store right next door. So it's a really wonderful project. Um, Sharon and Larry Adams, who head up Walnut Way Conservation Corps, are just you know, phenomenal people in and of themselves. And it's really a, an honor and a privilege to work with them and to work with the, the legacy that they bring from their neighborhood um, into this project. Um, it's a community effort. Um, there's other tenants within uh, the Wellness Commons. So you have Fondi uh, Food Center, um, the Juice Kitchen, which is a retail business, um, run by um, Joanne and Manon Sabir um, of the community, and then also the Milwaukee Center for Independent. So it's this wonderful little hub of food enterprises uh, located within this building um, at 17th and North Avenue. And, um, you know, we're super thrilled to be involved in this project, um, and we hope the community responds as well. Um, so time will tell. We've been only open for not quite six months, uh, so we're still working on things and um, we're still adjusting our product mix. Um, but that's a really beautiful project that um, we've been involved in. And certainly I've been working with the Milwaukee Food Council um, on their steering committee for uh, since 2012. And um, recently um, we've restructured and have become a 501c3 corporation. So. Um, very exciting movement. Um, we now have a board of directors. I stepped away to allow for a new board of director, uh, directors to um, take the food council to the next um, step of where it's going to go. But I'm very, very proud of the, the work that the food council has done to um, address issues of um, food security, uh, food justice issues within um, Milwaukee. Uh, and it's a, an incredible group of folks that get together every two months, um, usually 50 to 60 people, and anyone is, is welcome to come. Um, but we talk about those issues that are very important um, with regards to food security. Um, and uh, the, the, the caliber of, of uh, folks that come to the table is just really incredible. We're so fortunate to live in a community of passionate people who really care about the welfare of, of everyone um, here. And it's reflected in the faces and in the ideas and in the passion of the folks who do come to the food council table.